In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create table of content slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the page number one or option number one where you can add the title, the detailed text along with the icon and then I've added a shadow effect as well here. So when I click, it will come with a different color combination, the option two or the page two, the page three, four, five and six. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangle, choose the first one, the rectangle, just click it here, go to the shape format height i'm going to make this as 1.25 and the width i'm going to make it as 0.7 shape outline make it no outline then put it exactly on the top left of the of the slide and press ctrl d to duplicate bring it down and put it exactly we need the the first one then duplicate so this is the third fourth fifth and sixth okay so now I'm going to give a different color. So which I'm the colors I'm going to use this one, which I've already used previously. So select the first box, go to the shape fill, and I'm going to select the eyedropper and click the first here. Then the second color I'm going to choose using the eyedropper from this box. Then comes the third one, the fourth one. The fifth here using the eyedropper. You can just choose any color of your choice. This is just I'm giving an example only. So it's not necessary that you need to choose every time these colors only. Okay. So you can see here it is done. So let me just keep this aside here. I'm going to choose, select all these objects by holding the shift key. You can see here press control D to duplicate and press control G to group it and reduce the width of not the width, the height of this and put exactly in the center so let me just put it and give a gap here so maybe I want to give a gap till here okay then right mouse click group ungroup it the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to connect from this rectangle to this rectangle okay for that I'm going to use insert shapes and from the lines I'm going to choose a free form shape so let me just zoom out a little bit so that you get exactly what I'm trying to tell okay so this one from this corner i'll connect to this and from here to here okay so go to insert shapes select the freeform shape so bring the cursor here exactly on this select here then comes like this till the end of this one here and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to use the same color here okay but it is uh, mixing with this one for that i'm going to more colors and increase the shade here so it looks something like this okay so you can see here this is how we have connected so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat the same thing what we did here all right so let me just go up go to insert shapes from the lines choose the freeform shape again click here here till this all right keep the same color and then again if doesn't matter if there's a gap you can just increase it okay and shape fill the same color and then more colors increase it increase the shade here so let me just do one more time insert shapes and from the line freeform shape start from this side at the top and here till this here here and here shape outline no outline again if there's a gap here increase it shape fill use the same color and give a shade effect here all right so you can just do the rest of that one which is 
so you can see here we have done this one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the size of this one so before that one if you want to change the uh, the shape of this we can change it so for that go to the shape format edit shape change shape and from the block arrows i'm going to choose which is arrow pentagon okay it looks something like this and then just increase the size here all right so now i'm going to do the same thing for this go to the shape format edit shape change shape and make this as a arrow pentagon so now one will be a big one once is small so depending on the requirement you can just change it okay so maybe this could be bigger this is still here and this could be till here all right so you can see here how we have changed this one now once this is done what you can do is you can give some shadow effect to this okay for that go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw a right triangle something like this shape outline no outline and then use the rotate option okay rotate flip vertical and then i'm going to select flip horizontal and here i'm going to choose just a minute yeah which is flip vertical again okay it should come like this okay the design should come like this so let me just show you once again go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw a right triangle like this all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give a different color later on we can change it and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then i'm going to make it as flip vertical okay this is how it has to be so reduce the size and then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so select the gradient fill and here because i've used before that's the reason it is coming here so i've used three stops here okay the first stop i have used the black color with transparency 46 percent second one also i have used black color but the transparency 71 percent and the third one i have used the color which is of the second box okay and then i have made the transparency 100 percent okay this is how you have to make it and make sure that the, dire the direction also you can choose the direction from here okay so direction if i choose this one it will be like this okay so we need to choose the direction which is this one which is a linear left okay once this is done hold the control shift key or you can press control d to duplicate and put it for the second one yeah and reduce the size okay if you want you can reduce the width also here yeah, the width looks too too big for me i'm just going to reduce it okay so now press ctrl d to duplicate comes the third one here increase the size press ctrl d again here the size should be bigger press ctrl d again and then reduce the size here so you can see here it looks something kind of uh, the effect looks like it is coming out from this particular uh, design okay so once this is done go to insert text box and type the page number or option number one make it white font bring it at the top exactly i'm going to use the font open sans extra bold if you want you can increase the size to 20 hold the Control shift key drag it down again hold the Control shift key drag it down just repeat hold the Control shift key drag and drop and done sorry and and reduce and bring it using the cursor okay so now this is my option number two or page number two three four five and six here okay and then go to the insert text box add the title here okay again use the font which is open science extra bold white font if you want to reduce this font size 
and here go to insert shapes select one straight line here all right by holding the shift key shape outline i'm going to make this as white color here and then add the detail text equals hello rem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm deleting font size font color white reduce the font size okay and align it properly again if you want to insert some icons you can go to insert and click the icons also so now i'm going to select these three the text and the line okay press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and sorry bring it down we can see here this is my second option again it has to be reduced okay so now let me just select this one press ctrl d this is my third option fourth option ctrl d fifth option and sixth option so you can see here we have done this one if you want to do some basic animation effect you can do the basic animation effects as well so let me just do some animation effect here make sure first of all all those things are properly aligned you can see here there's some gaps make sure that it is properly aligned there's no gaps left okay all right so now i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this the text the pentagon arrow and the shadow effect i'm going to select this one and press ctrl g to group it okay then comes the second one you can see here like this we need to do one by one or i can do one thing is i can just select with the help of the this one and you can see here everything got selected which i want okay i can press ctrl g to group it and make sure that this is you send to back okay the same thing applies here i'm just selecting this and press ctrl g again send this back all right so just we need to do the same thing here press ctrl g here the text is gone above this one let's bring it to that one again send this back then select the same way for this as well all right press ctrl g and then send back and then remains the last one and press ctrl g and send this to back okay you can see here it looks something like this so now go to the animations enable the animation pane so i can use maybe a wipe effect wipe effect okay i think this is not properly yeah sorry so this one is not properly you know grouped press ctrl g yeah now it's group so now wipe effect wipe i'm going to give from left so it comes like this so now using the animation painter double click and then copy start copying to each this one you can see here and escape now if i play it comes something like this you can see here so this is one animation you can use many different animation effects if you want